Well, I'm back at the Literature Club. Doki Doki Literature Club, that is. Hey guys, Average Man. And Valid. And Asteri. And Arzma. Flame, well, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. And I guess it's our second day. We finished our homework, so let's continue on, continuing on. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Ah, I see you're late. Thanks for keeping your promise, Average. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making your dive head first into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Siori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Nasuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Hmm? <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Average always give it, gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is just so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Nah. How come? You and Average can become good friends too. Um. Uh, Sayori. Hmm? Uh... As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Uh-oh. Yuri even brought you something today, you know? But wait, Sayori? Eh? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me so it will make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you! I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So Yuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, but at the same time I could feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent me. More than that, seems to be she seems to be on the very few, on the first few pages. Ah. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and her eyes meet for a split second. Someone's playing the piano. Yep. <laughs> Very beautifully. It must be the music club next door. Ah. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. S sorry. I was just spacing out. 
I muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, your gaze is very distracting. It's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? You sure is. I wanted to reread some of it, like I just said. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you get, you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well... Mm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to be desperately she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's oh, That's okay. kind of That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, but that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. It's not like your manga, isn't it? Are you not a fan of those sort of things, Average? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories... They challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals, or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest in or, or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah... Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact... I might as well get started reading it, right? Y you don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Uh. Let me just get the book. I, cr I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, yeah. Are, are, you, are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just not something I'm very... Not, I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. As long as you can keep up with my pace, I suppose it's okay. <laughs> Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my sh shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not exactly looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. So sorry. I was just... Yuri, Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do? I don't really mean to want to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? 
I slide my desk until it's against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I instead use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. Uh, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled, huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's, just, it's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. I mean, she's super cute. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Ah, oh, uh, sorry. I think I got a little bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'm able to keep up with her. I guess we're going at your pace then. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah, thanks. We, re we continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it on, on my own volition. We, uh, we continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like, she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I... I see. Yuri remains silent for a moment. But average. That's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Oh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. No, wait, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really don't know. I didn't know you were so self-conscious about that sort of thing. Now you're the one saying sorry. Mm. I guess I more meant that it's kind of <laughs> cute. Ad -libs. Ad -libs. Uh, uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? Uh, Okay, everyone. Mm. I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. Uh. Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thoughts. Is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. It's, it's not, it's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright, I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah. My relaxation ends. <laughs> I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much, much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica writes hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do, I do the same myself. 
Who should I show my poems first? Well, nope. who wants to read it first? Do we want the waifu? Do we want the president, the vice president, or the spunky girl? <clears throat> Should we show the poem to... Uh, there's no random. Just do Yuri. We wrote it specifically <clears throat> for her. True. Subconsciously, quote unquote. Man. Subconsciously. <laughs> Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. Well, it will be. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Eh? What was that? Hmm? Nani? <laughs> <laughs> did, did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. Hmm. Uh. He's going to hate me. Um. You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Oh. Uh, that's. I, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written about a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Hmm. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trolls off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and then they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Shuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammer stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, there's nothing, there's not, that's not something you should be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into the writing a single poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valued feedback. Natsuki can be a little bi bit biased though. Biased? How? Just look at her. Um, <laughs> well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's yeah. fine. But she's not sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamy dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Literature club? That okay. poem. Uh, ahem. Ghosts under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm. Breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Uh, I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Yeah? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I, I'm really glad you like it. I tried to capture the ending of the universe as it spirals into impending death, lights just destroying themselves as, as we all just spiral out of control. I see that. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little bit more mild. Something easy to digest for you, I suppose. 
Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Uh-huh. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Average. Really? I must have totally missed the point. <laughs> I know. Well, I suppose you did only glance <laughs> over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their own work. Why are you laughing, Yuri? <laughs> at you. They usually do more than just tell a simple story or point a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in the last in her last remaining place of comfort, and able to let go of the past, and soon to be left nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It, it's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so kind of. Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Ah. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Average. Uh, me too. <laughs> Alright, who should we show our poem to next? Spunky girl, neighbor, or... I feel like reading. You feel like reading? <laughs> I feel like reading. You are, so you are, right? Yes. Alright. Neighbor. Hmm. <laughs> This is a good poem, Average. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why you impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in a club, club room? Oh, well, uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Average. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people, that's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Alright. <clears throat> Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, make me rub the, the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. The <laughs> <laughs> way how it ends. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> my, <laughs> my life. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. So Yori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or, how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. <laughs> well, I guess there's no point in arguing. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for showing for me. Uh, showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. <laughs> yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. I guess I look forward to it. Yay. 
Oh, who should we have next? Let's do Spunky Girl. Yeah, Suki? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Question mark? Average, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. What? what? Harsh. What do you expect me to believe? That you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. <laughs> Painful to think about? Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell you what to improve, but you better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Alright. Wanna Eagles read it? Eagles can yeah. fly. <laughs> Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you still convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. <laughs> I'm glad you learned something. Look at her little, her little thing. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I love it. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. This last one is Monica. Alright, let's do this. <clears throat> Hi, Average. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you knew and everything, if you have ever any questions or suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Average. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. Great job, Average. I was going, oh, in my head while I was reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easy- It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. <laughs> that way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that you're really likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's 
full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning of it. It's very challenging to write like that effortlessly, effectively, blah. <laughs> Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all the nuances. 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 My dyslexia kicked in. <laughs> it takes. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about it. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find that kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? And don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction that's. Does that say spackle? Spackle. spackle. That spackle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No! I can't see. I reel blind like a flute left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retentive. Already scorched with a pertinent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright, but it was too deep. Screeching forever into everything. A hole of imminent choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right p person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can really be powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's a Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story or brain gets too fixated on specific points, if you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Just So just move on, just move your hand and go on with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Welcome to my TED Talk. Welcome to my TED
TikTok. <laughs> I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little bit more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me from my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. Guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My, a my eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I ra watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furo furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can you... How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't have to come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Siori liked it. And Average did too. So based on that, I'm gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Oh, snap! <laughs> Pencil drop! An average liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. <laughs> but we'll find what she does next time. Until next time, this is Average Man. And Valen. And Asteri. And Arsma. Saying, see ya. Adios. Laters. Bye bye. It kind of reminds me of the um, anime um, plan yeah. that used to be like that manga yeah. series but that they made an anime out of. Yeah. Uh -huh. could be anything. I, I told you you would like stuff like that. Yeah, that really could be. <laughs> it, you've seen Clan Ad, right? Clan Ad? Clan Ad, Clan Ad. yeah. Never heard of it. It's, an anime. it's, a, it's based it's off of a manga it. series where it's like the main protagonist is a guy and he has four choices to get together with four different girls that are all like really close to him and they're all friends. I've seen a lot and, uh, of videos like that. Um, the manga goes through um, what his relationship would have been like for each girl. Oh, wow. And um, but in the actual anime series, the most popular um, um, love story that everybody loved when they were reading the manga was with this one girl. So in the anime series, it's always, it's only going off and based on the love story with the most popular love choice, which yeah. is the one, huh. which is the one of the four girls. They shorten it. <laughs> yeah. Most they, of the games I play, visual novels. <laughs> um, yeah, they severely shortened it. They did a little like OVA episode where the second popular girl choice they showed what their love story looked like oh wow and yeah. i was just kind of like oh wow well, cute okay yeah see like, you, you like stuff like this yeah I they, love they, have, this. they have tons of visual novels like 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 this but just in different genres you probably like enjoy them